The Better Life Project presents Stop Seeking Approval. Do this instead. You've probably been in a situation where you desperately wanted someone's approval, whether it was a friend, family member, or a romantic interest. But trying too hard to gain approval can make you feel unhappy and even more insecure. In this video, we'll explore why fighting for approval isn't the best strategy and what you can do instead to feel more confident and at ease with yourself. So let's dive in and learn how to stop seeking approval and start living a more authentic life. Number one, recognize that seeking approval is a natural human desire. It's normal to want people to like us and approve of our actions, but it becomes unhealthy when it's our main focus. Realize that the desire for approval is a part of human nature, as we are social creatures who want to belong. However, it's crucial to differentiate between seeking validation and trying to connect with others in a healthy way. Being aware of your need for approval can help you better understand your motives and start making changes. In the long run, it's essential to find balance and focus on building genuine relationships without constantly seeking validation. Number two, understand that you can't please everyone. No matter what you do, there will always be people who won't approve of you, and that's okay. It's important to accept that it's impossible to make everyone happy, and that's not your responsibility. Trying to please everyone will only exhaust you and keep you from being true to yourself. Instead, prioritize your well-being and focus on the people who truly matter in your life. Remember that it's better to have a few close, authentic relationships than many shallow connections based on approval-seeking. Number three, accept that not everyone will like you. Some people just won't like you, no matter how hard you try, and that's a part of life. It's essential to acknowledge that you won't be everyone's cup of tea, and that's perfectly fine. The key is to be comfortable with who you are and not let others' opinions define your worth. Instead of chasing after those who don't like you, invest your energy in nurturing relationships with people who genuinely care about you. Embracing this mindset will bring more peace and authenticity to your life. Number four, build your self-confidence. When you believe in yourself and your worth, you won't need others' approval to validate you. Developing self-confidence starts with acknowledging your strengths and embracing your flaws. Work on setting realistic goals and celebrating your accomplishments, no matter how small. Actively seek opportunities for personal growth and challenge yourself to step out of your comfort zone. As your self-confidence grows, you'll find yourself less reliant on the opinions of others. Number five, practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness and understanding, just as you would a close friend. Cultivating self-compassion involves acknowledging your own struggles and accepting yourself despite your imperfections. Learn to recognize your negative self-talk and replace it with more positive and supportive messages. Remember that everyone makes mistakes and it's okay to be imperfect. By practicing self-compassion, you'll develop a healthier relationship with yourself and reduce the need for external validation. Number six, focus on your own growth and goals. Don't let the opinions of others dictate your decisions, but instead, follow your own path. Take some time to reflect on your values, passions, and aspirations, and set goals that align with them. Prioritize your personal growth and make conscious choices that move you closer to your goals. Recognize that the most important approval comes from within, so focus on living in accordance with your values and desires. By doing so, you'll create a life that feels authentic and fulfilling, regardless of others' opinions. Number seven, embrace your individuality. Celebrate what makes you unique and don't try to fit into someone else's mold. By embracing your individuality, you'll gain a deeper sense of self and create a more authentic life. Focus on developing your interests, passions, and talents instead of trying to conform to others' expectations. Remember that being yourself is what makes you stand out and attracts the right people into your life. In the end, it's better to be genuine and true to yourself than to fit in by seeking others' approval. Number eight, set boundaries. It's essential to establish limits with others and stand up for yourself when necessary. Having healthy boundaries means knowing when to say no and not allowing others to take advantage of your kindness. Setting boundaries is a sign of self-respect and it shows that you value your own needs and feelings. Be clear about your limits and communicate them assertively without fearing disapproval. By establishing boundaries, you'll be more in control of your life 
and less dependent on others' opinions. Number 9. Learn to say no. Saying no is a powerful way to show that you value your own needs and well-being. Understand that it's okay to decline requests or invitations if they conflict with your priorities or values. Saying no doesn't make you a bad person. It simply means you're standing up for yourself and your well-being. Remember that saying no to others means saying yes to yourself and your personal growth. Over time, you'll find that prioritizing your needs leads to a happier and more authentic life. Number 10. Surround yourself with supportive people. Choose friends who genuinely care for you and celebrate your successes. Having a strong support network can make a significant difference in your overall happiness and well-being. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you rather than those who bring you down. Focus on nurturing relationships with people who value and respect you for who you are without needing to seek their approval. A supportive environment will help you grow and feel more confident in your own skin. Number 11. Stop comparing yourself to others. Comparison only leads to insecurity and the constant need for validation. Understand that everyone has their own unique journey, and comparing yourself to others is counterproductive. Instead of focusing on how you measure up to others, concentrate on your own growth and accomplishments. Remember that your worth isn't determined by others' successes or failures, but by how you choose to live your life. By shifting your focus inward, you'll become more confident and less dependent on others' opinions. Number 12. Recognize the difference between constructive criticism and disapproval. Use feedback to grow, but don't let negative opinions control your self-worth. It's essential to discern between helpful criticism that can aid your growth and unwarranted disapproval that only brings you down. Take the time to reflect on the feedback you receive and decide whether it aligns with your values and goals. By filtering out the noise and focusing on constructive feedback, you'll become more resilient and self-reliant. Remember, your worth is not defined by others' opinions, but by your own actions and beliefs. Number 13. Practice gratitude. Focusing on the positives in your life can help shift your mindset away from seeking approval. By practicing gratitude, you'll learn to appreciate the good things in your life and cultivate a more positive attitude. Start by creating a daily habit of listing three things you're grateful for or journaling about your blessings. Over time, this practice will help you focus more on what truly matters and less on the opinions of others. As a result, you'll feel happier and more secure in your own skin without the need for external validation. In conclusion, remember that seeking approval from others can be a never-ending cycle that drains your energy and leaves you feeling unfulfilled. It's essential to build your self-esteem, embrace your authenticity, and focus on what truly makes you happy. By following these tips, you can break free from the need for validation and start living life on your terms. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our future content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.